So my favorite band of all time, Block Party, recently released their fifth album, Hymns, and you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to review it. Drummer Matt Tong and bassist Gordon Mokes left the band Killing Block Party, but since this is a new Block Party review, you can assume that the band is not actually dead. In fact, they had a bit of a religious revival with this album. Returning members Kelly and Russell unwind after their last rock-heavy album, Four, and make a more relaxed album with spiritual themes. Fans have been extra pissy lately, bitching and moaning that this album isn't too fast enough. Let it be known that these same fans complained that 4 was too fast. Come on! Are these fans of Block Party or Sonic the Hedgehog? They're so indecisive. Will I act like a big baby and think that this album is too boring? Will my atheist senses tingle? Will I appreciate this album as art? Well, let's get right on to the review and find out. Right off the bat, we have the leading single of the album, The Love Within. The overall reception from fans, as you guessed, is terrifyingly negative. People's number one complaint about the song is the unnecessary dubstep guitar synths that make a wah wah noise. When I heard these Waluigi sounds originally, I admit to being a bit turned off. But let me tell you that that chorus is catchy as heck. Fans of the song said to have fallen in love with it because it grew on them. Guess who one of those fans are? I later learned to appreciate Russell's guitar in the song. Although I would still like for some more guitar, I still enjoy what we have. The bass, thanks to newcomer of the band, Justin Harris, fits in perfectly with this song. Kelly's vocals, especially in the chorus, are phenomenal. The drums are even decent too. The lyrics, which are about embracing love within yourself, is also catchy and inspirational. In summary, I know the song is different from what we've heard from the band, but please give it one more chance. It's honestly a really good song. Next, we have the song Only He Can Heal Me. If you are homophobic, you're automatically going to despise the song. If you're like me, then you can appreciate the blend of influences from Kelly's solo work and some of Block Party's more experimental work like Intimacy. The song So Real, like The Love Within, is insanely catchy. It has a nice spiritual vibe, some fine singing moments from Kelly, and Russell's guitar work makes for great atmospheric backup. The good news is the second single off hymns. The selling point of this song, at least for me, is the bluesy guitar. Fortress, in my opinion, is a weaker track off the album. It sounds a little too much like Kelly's solo work. However, that doesn't mean it's a bad song. It's a great song for romance, but since I'm single and can only find love in trees, I'll stick to some other songs off this album. Now we get to the masterpiece of the album. The song Different Drugs is brilliant. I'm not one for drugs, but I don't mind getting high off this song. Kelly's vocals add so much dramatic tension with lyrics about a growing divide between people with drugs being a metaphor. Russell's guitar elevates the atmosphere of the song to so many levels. The drums, the synths, the change in vocals, it's all just so amazing. These next two songs, Into the Earth and My True Name, go back to Blog Party's guitar-loving roots. My True Name is a good song, there's nothing wrong with it, but Into the Earth is so catchy. The vocals and the excellent harmonizing guitar work are just so much fun to listen to. The third single of the album, Virtue, brings back that wah wah that fans were so crazy about in The Love Within. In my perspective, the guitars are great in this song. At a point, I felt like I was hearing organs at a church, and a fun church at that. The bass coinciding with the drums is also awesome. The song is definitely good, it's nothing spectacular, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Exus is the very first song fans heard off the album. I loved it when I first heard it, and I continue to love it now. It's a nice emotional piece, and it's a good companion for you and your Ben and Jerry's when you're feeling sad. Russell's solo even reminds me of something from a Zelda game. If something can remind me of Zelda, you know it's good. Lastly, we get the final track off the album, Living Lux. The vocals and lyrics of the song are as powerful as ever, and the guitar is nice. It's a decently relaxed closer to the album. Although I prefer their second album's beautiful closer and the hard-hitting closer from 4, this last song is still perfectly fine. As a follow-up to their older material, Hymns is an utter failure. It's mellowed down and doesn't have that signature fast-paced block party energy. 
The drums were a bit lacking because they didn't have a proper drummer at the time when they made this, and this sounds entirely different than anything that they've ever done. Looking at this album as a separate piece of music, it's honestly great. This album honestly feels like it has a purpose. There aren't any tracks I disliked, and a few songs like Different Drugs are absolutely incredible. Hymns by no stretch of the word is perfect, but it still provides enough entertainment value to satisfy your blog party cravings. So screw church and organized religion altogether and instead listen to hymns.